All right. Happy Monday, everybody. Big waves to you. Good to see you. Good to see you. For several of you, I got a chance to see in person Coach Myra uh, in Colorado Springs and had a blast with you. And now I'm over in Minnesota. Going to spend some time with Anna and the team here. Excited about that. So um, this morning's word, I love it, kicking off Monday with this word. Uh, because I believe it's just going to make our we so much better when we think about this. But the word is winner, winner. Um, so if you look at the definition, it's a person or thing that wins something. Acquired or secure as a result of a contest, conflict, a bet, or even an endeavor. You're a winner, all right? You just wanted something. But I, 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 I took a quote from someone that is near and dear to Coach Myra Miles. And that is, or a statement, I should say, it's from the great coach, Pat Summit. Here's what Pat had to say about winning. Winning is fun. It really is. Winning is fun. Sure. But winning is not the point. Wanting to win is the point. Not giving up is the point. Never letting up is the point. Never being satisfied with what you've done is the point. And I thought it was so profound, Coach, that I came across this from Pat Summit that left a trail of wisdom in her lifetime. But, but one of the things that was big for me that reminded me on this Monday you know, as I'm out of town is, is like, like a winner is constantly getting caught up in the journey of the win. It, it's, it, it's, it's the things that happen through the course of becoming a winner that really, I believe people look back on and they appreciate and they value and, 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 they love thinking about and you can relate to that in the life that you've been because all of you are winners and you've had times in your life where you've wanted something and it's the journey it's the not giving up just like pat said so where i went this morning is how to be a winner in life like like some things that i need to keep near and dear to my heart near and dear to my thoughts as i go through the days and the weeks and the months because this life's tough. This life can distract us and, and make us go in all different crazy ways. Number one, don't be too cool for school, okay? Set goals. Where do you want to be right now in your health goals? Do you realize if we keep a set goal, if we keep striving, like we're, we're going to live a healthier, longer life? Where do you... Where do you want to be in your profession? Where do you want to be financially this time next year? Like set your goals so you know where you're going, so that you've got a roadmap, so you know the end destination. And don't ever be too cool for school not to set goals. Number two, take responsibility for your actions. You know, I've told all of you recently, I've got a goal set for my health journey. And I've got to take responsibility for my actions so that I course correct, make a change. Number three, don't be afraid to fall or fail. There's, there, there's going to be tripwires out there. There's going to be, you know, those valleys we got to go through to get to the, to get to the mountaintops. Don't be afraid to fall or fail at it. Number four, learn every day. And this was a big one for me because I, I do travel a lot. I do talk to a lot of people. Imagine if I just go through the day listening and looking for things to learn and pick up on. Imagine what all I would learn in life. I'd learn about fishing spots. I would learn about people's favorite restaurants. I'd learn all this stuff that I could use in my life if I will just listen and look for opportunities to learn. Number five, take risk. I thought about this and I, I told you last week about Warren Buffett, like Warren talks about when the stock market's going down, he finds opportunities to buy. When everybody else is selling, he goes against the grain and purchases. Are you a risk taker in the fact of 
when the norm is going this direction, you're going this direction. Because most risk takers, most people that if you go back and you talk to them about their life journey and their winners, they were risk takers and they went against the grain. They didn't always go with the norm. Number six and the last one is stay focused and committed because it's so easy to quit. And having a I don't quit, maybe I fell off, maybe I failed a little bit, maybe I've, I've fallen, but I don't quit. I'm going to get back up on that horse and I'm going to do it again because the journey is what is worth that when the winning takes place. The journey's the journey's what I look back on and appreciate. So, Coach, that's my thoughts for today on winter. I'll turn it to you. Glad to have awesome. you. Awesome message. Thank you so much. Uh, glad to be back. Uh, hopefully my world is going to slow down a minute. Uh, but anyway, a lot of winners out here today, Coach. Uh, and we got one with a birthday. I don't know if he's on or not, but today is Husto's birthday. Uh, maybe he'll catch the replay. So that's a winner for sure right there. So happy birthday, Husto. You know, um, I had to really, really focus in and write some notes today because this word, I love it. And each and every one of us could just take off on our own and talk about it forever. But I thought I better write some things down or I would really get all over the place. So here we go. Winner, one that seems destined for success. You know, one that is successful, especially through praiseworthy ability and hard work. Now, in discussing the word winner today, we got to make sure we all understand that we have big wins and we have small wins and we have got to celebrate both. You know, I believe we focus too much on the big wins when in reality, the small wins are what adds to the ultimate creating of the huge wins. Bless you, Andrea. Um, you know, it's the little wins, the little steps that we work toward that get that big win. And sometimes I think we neglect celebrating little wins upon the way in our journeys of, of being a winner. So what are some characteristics of winners? Coach Palmer gave some fantastic ones and we didn't overlap, but on one. So that's good. You know, winners are good leaders with a great sense of responsibility. Now, sometimes winners People think that winners have to be real vocal. They have to be out there in front, whatever. You can be a great leader and a winner by just doing what's what you're responsible for. You have a great sense of what it takes to be a winner. You know, winners, like Coach said, winners are risk takers. And I'm not going to say any more about that because he did a fantastic job of explaining that. Winners are good at overcoming challenges. Think of every single challenge that you have watched individuals that you consider to be a winner and they have bumped up on some challenges. How did they handle it? We need to really watch and listen to those people. Winners have a positive attitude. Even when it's rough, they stay positive. They're flexible and they're adaptable. Sometimes you may be working with a group and somebody puts something out there and you may feel like that you're that winning, uh, you're the winner, you're the leader, but you have to open up and be willing to accept anything to be adaptable. Because if you listen, as coach said, you're going to learn something and it's going to help you take a step up toward being a winner. Winners learn from their mistakes. Wow. You know, we hate to make mistakes, don't we? But if we did not make mistakes, y'all, we would never learn. We would never be successful. The good Lord puts stumps in our toes a lot to get our attention, to refocus. So when we have this happen, you just learn by it. You never lose, you learn. Always remember that. Winners have the ability to focus and they have the ability to finish. Every single one of us, when we have goals, we set goals and we're trying to accomplish something. We are awesome on our focus from the beginning. But I can tell you right now, I have been horrible at times on keeping that focus to finish. 
really good winners can do both very successfully. You know, winners are very action oriented and they're ready to step up. Winners don't wait for their business and success to walk in the front door. They walk out the door and go get it. That's in life. They don't come to you, you go get them. Winners spend time with winners and we read and saturate our minds with positive things. I'm gonna end with three quotes that I thought were very good. The first one's from Mark Gorman. Not all dreamers are winners, but all winners are dreamers. Your dream is the key to your future. Next one by Bonnie Blair. Winning doesn't always mean being first. Winning means you're doing better than you've ever done before. And finally, Mike Krzyzewski, we all know who he is. Imagination has a great deal to do with winning. If you wanna be a winner consistently, imagine yourself reaping the rewards and tie in to doing the work to do that. So imagination is huge. So you guys have a great day. So good to see you. Uh, look forward to seeing you again soon. I love y'all. Coach, great message, great message. And it was great to start the week off with this uh, winter word. Um, guys, have a great Monday. We'll see you back tomorrow. We love you, and we're grateful for you. Bye, guys. Thanks. Great call. Thank you. Thank you, guys.